Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. Um, sorry, I haven't been videotaping for the last week. I've had some medical issues. Um, I had some uh, testing done with my doctors and they came back um they came back with some problems and um i've been going for more testing more biopsies and um i don't know my results yet um however i was going to tape my saturday shelfie tour but on Saturday, I woke up with my eyes swollen shut. Because I have really bad allergies, you can still see that they are still a little swollen over here and over here. Um, that's all due to allergies. So, uh, yeah. So, anyway, um, I am back and I got two big, well, two boxes in the mail. One big box from a book of the month club and one book from book depository so i'm going to open it up and share what i got so the first book is from book depository now this book is a book that i am going to be reading in october um it is with the book club on goodreads called lisa's buddy reads um and my library did not have this book so the only place i could get this book is from book depository so i ordered it so i would have it for october so that's why i ordered from book depository so i'm trying not to buy any more books um my book of the month club is already prepaid and ordered so i could just pick and choose from that and this one i ordered because i want to read it in october so the book that we are reading in october is this one the blood sisters uh by jane corey and the only thing i know about this book it says three little girls one good one bad one dead and that's what it says on the front cover and on the back cover, it says, dark, complex, and thrilling. Uh, three little girls set off to school one sunny May morning. Within an hour, one of them is dead. And that is all I know about this book. And we are reading this in the month of October. If you'd like to join us, I will put the link to the Goodreads group. Um, it's called Lisa's Buddy Reads, and I will put the link below. So that's this book. Okay, so on to my book of the month club. Um, I ordered, they were really good, so I ordered three books in here. So one was already pre-ordered, so I actually ordered two more books. So they were $9 each, $9.99 each, so $10 each. So I spent $20. So um, when you open up the box, they always shrink wrap it. So here's my shrink wrap. So I'm going to use my trusty scissors um, to open this up and share with you what I got in here. So one of them is really thick. Oh, I wonder which book that one is. <laughs> okay, let's see. Cut, cut, cut. Okay, I'm cutting off the plastic. <laughs> okay, so the first book that I see in here is this one. Fierce Kingdom. Uh, by Jen Phillips and I know and it also says there is a um, I love book of the month and I love how they pre-print it with the month so I know what month I bought it in which is pretty cool and they also stamp the book I'm pretty sure let's see see they stamp the book also when I take the cover off I actually know what month it is which is pretty cool okay so this comes with the bookmark and let me make sure I get the right bookmark. Okay. Uh, the bookmark says, it always comes with a bookmark for the book, which is perfect. So I always have a bookmark. And there is always a quote on here that tells you about the book. So I'm going to use my glasses because I cannot see. <laughs> okay. Um, I haven't felt such a level of pure fear and strong payoff from a spirit suspense novel in ages the lengths to which a mother will protect her son will haunt you too and as I far as I know I read the synopsis online for this book and I was like this sounds really amazing it's about a woman who takes her son to the zoo and something happens in the zoo and she has to protect her um 
um, her uh, family. So yeah, it sounds really amazing. And since I just visited the zoo recently, I was like, oh, I might as well order it. Um, and I love the cover and it has little horses on the front. I thought that was really cool. So that is the first book that I picked. And it's kind of short, which is great because I love short books. See, it's not that thick. So great book. Okay. So the second book is the one that's really fat. <laughs> And what I mean is fat is this. That's a fat book, okay? Uh, the second book is called The Heart's Invisible Furies. And the reason I bought this book is because it's by John Boyne. And he wrote The um, the Boy in the Striped Pajamas, which is really, really good about World War II. And I just, I was like, I want to read something else that he, written, he has written. So I picked this one out. I don't really like the cover. It's just the cover by, um, because of the author. So this comes with the bookmark. And the bookmark says, let's see. I cannot, cannot rave enough about this book. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll laugh some more. Cyril Avery has now taken a place in my heart beside Anne Shirley, who and Owen Meany. It's that good. You hold something special in your hands. If you love it a fraction as much as I do, it will be your favorite book of 2017. And that was quoted by uh, Lib Liberty Hardy. Um, and that's what it looks like. So, yeah. So this is a fat, fat book. So... Yeah, the only reason I bought it is because John Bourne wrote it and uh, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas was amazing. So I wanted to read something else that he has written. So that's that one. Okay, so the third book that I got, uh, there is no bookmark because this was an extra. This was not part of the August. Oh, it got a little damaged, so I'm going to have to tape it. But my back got a little damaged. Look at that. Oh, boy. Anyway, I will tape it closed, but uh, the book that I got, and I don't really know much about this one, uh, it's called The Lion Game by Ruth Ware, um, and there is no synopsis on the front, there is no synopsis on the back, so I'm going to have to look inside to see uh, what this book is about, so let me see if I can do that. Okay. Uh, the rules are simple. Tell a lie, stick to your story, and never, ever get caught. On a cool June morning, a woman is walking her dog in a village along a tidal uh, estuary. I don't know what that word is. <laughs> Known as the Reach. Before she can stop him, the dog charges into the water to retrieve what first appears to be a stick but to her horror, it turns out to be something much more sinister. The next morning, three women in around London um, received the text they had always hoped would never come. From the fourth in their formerly inseparable clique, clique cliche, uh, Kate, that says only, I need you. The four girls were best friends at um, boarding school set near the cliffs of English Channel. Each different in their own way, the four become inseparable and were notorious for playing the lion game, telling lies at every turn to both fellow boarders and faculty. But their little game had consequences, and as the four con conver converge in present day, they realize their shared past has not was not as safely buried as they had once hoped. Um, this is uh, twisty with um, the right amount of chill to keep you wrong-footed. Uh, the Lion Game is told in Ruth Ware's sign signature suspenseful style, lending itself to becoming another unput, unput downable thriller from the Agatha Christie of all time. Agatha Christie of all, of our time. So it sounds pretty uh, intense, and it, um, we'll see if I like it. I know it's a bestseller, so um, yeah. So that's it. Uh, oh, she is also the author that wrote The Woman in the Cabin 10, which I haven't read yet, but she is also the same author. So hopefully I'll like that. Um, 
can't see. <laughs> anyway, these are the four books that I got today. Uh, thank you for watching. Wish me, um, say a prayer for me that my results come back negative. And um, I will see you in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.